<clears throat> the second part of this chapter is actually an article published in the Hindustan Times in 1985, most probably. Getting inside outsider art, getting into what is considered to be outsider art. Now, what is this outsider art? When French painter Jean Dubuffet mooted the concept of art brute in the 1940s, the art of the untrained visionary was of minority interest. When he, when he presented this uh, concept of art brute in the early 1940s, the art of the untrained visionary, it was not of much interest. Untrained, no formal training in the field of art. <coughs> From its almost wheeled beginnings, hidden beginnings, outsider art was gradually, has gradually become the fastest growing area of interest in contemporary art internationally. This genre is described as the art of those who have no right to be artists as they have received no formal training, yet show talent and artistic insight. <clears throat> as I said it earlier, this is the presentation of people who are not artists in real sense as they are they have no formal training of it but they have that talent of that artistic insight their works are stimulating contrast to a lot of mainstream offerings they are uh, what we say it in hindi hatke different around the time du buffet was propounding his concept in india an untutored genius was creating paradise. Years ago, the little patch of jungle that he began clearing to make himself a garden sculpted with stone and recycled material is known to the world today as the rock garden at Chandigarh. So when Du Buffet was propounding this theory of art brute, most probably at the same time, a man, untutored artist, was creating a paradise which is today known as the Rock Garden at Chandigarh. Its 80 year old creator, director, Nate Chand is now hailed as India's biggest contributor to outsider art. The 50th issue of Spring 2005 of Raw Vision, a UK based magazine pioneer in outsider art publication, features Nekchan and his rock garden sculpture and his Women by the Waterfall on its anniversary issues cover. The notion of art brew or raw art was of works that were in their raw state as regards cultural and artistic influences. Anything and everything from a tin to a sink to a broken down car could be material for the work of art. Something nature has taken to dizzying heights, unimaginable heights. <clears throat> Recognizing his art as an outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make when he lives his dream. Outstanding testimony, extraordinary example. A difference a single man can make when he lives his dream. There have been so many examples. When people started their work, no one supported them. Everyone considered them to be crazy. But they had a dream and they lived their dream. And they fulfill their dream. Now, one of the examples which comes to my mind right now is Dasrat Maji, who created that path by cutting the hill alone. And Nechant, maybe when he began like this, people must have considered him to be crazy out of his mind. But then, now his work is considered to be 
an extraordinary example of the difference a single man can make when he lives his dream. <coughs> the Swiss Commission of UNESCO will be honoring him by way of a European exposition of his works. The five-month interactive show, Realm of Nation, beginning October, will be held at leading museums in Switzerland, Belgium, France, and Italy. The biggest reward is walking through the garden and seeing people enjoy my creation, Nation says. Now, this was an article which was published in Hindustan Times, August 28, 2005, by Brinda Suri. <clears throat> this rock garden is an extraordinary example. Extraordinary example of art brute. He was not formally trained in any form of art. But he started creating things. Uh, we all sometimes come up with a concept. Best out of the West. And that is what he did. All that garbage which was all around. Pieces of tiles, pieces of sink pieces of run-down motor cars, everything he used and he has created, created a paradise, actually a paradise. And it is, it is one of the most visited place in Chandigarh, that is rock garden. Now here are some uh, pictures of that rock garden that can make you realize what this man has done. This is the place. This is all the creation of one single individual. Now look at this. If you look at closely, you see that so colorful, so beautiful, yet it is not sculpted. It is just converted. The things which were found, the pieces of tile, the pieces of sink, and all that. <clears throat> Another part of that rock garden. And this is now considered one of the national heritage of India. So this was all about the chapter, the landscape of the soul. <clears throat>